Well, all right. So we're going to be looking at addition now. Uh, now, addition, we actually saw some in the previous video when we took a whole number and put it in a, put it in its expanded form. Um, an expanded form was just taking that whole number um, and the place values um, that are represented there and um, changing that whole number into a, an addition problem. Um, and so we saw that in the last video and even saw how to utilize the expanded form with addition. So this is just a review. Um, the next couple of sections you'll see are just going to be basically review. Most of this class actually might seem as a review for many of you all, um, but it is necessary because you need addition and need to know how to add, um, especially add quickly or to estimate when it comes to working in your different fields in applied sciences technology. Um, so we have three problems here that we're going to take a look at. Um, the first one will not in, will not involve adding numbers and getting an answer that's greater than 10. So we have 345 or 345 plus 613. Now, sometimes I've had students in the past say the larger number should be on top. Uh, honestly, it does not matter as long as you have one thing in order. And that order is that your place values appropriately are placed on top of each other so that you know to add them together. Because it doesn't make sense to add one one, uh, one, one one's place with say two tens and say, okay, that's three tens or that's three ones. No, that's not, that's 20 and one, so that's 21. Um, but some people make that mistake because they don't line these up appropriately. So you should always line these up from right to left um, because that way you ensure that your ones place is on top of your ones place. Okay. And so from there, you just add. Now, um, this will come back from, from memory for most of you. Um, adding these and adding these numbers. So you may use a calculator. Um, but when you're adding, all you're doing is seeing how much it increases up by. So in this case, we have five plus three. That means if I started the larger number, it's usually easier to add. So if I start at five and I go up by three, well, that would of course be eight. So I would have eight. Okay. And then if I have four plus one, um, because I just got done with my ones place, so I have eight ones. Now I'm in my tens place, I have four tens and I have one other 10. Well, some of you may say, well, that's 50. Exactly, so that would be five tens. But using addition in this fashion, I can directly see that if I do four plus one, if I start at four and I go up one more, I will have five in the tens place. So that agrees with the 50 that you were saying before. And lastly, in the hundreds place, I have a three, plus a six, so I have three hundreds plus six hundreds. Well, that would be nine hundreds. And if I were to start at six and go up by three, I would get nine. And so in the end there, when I do 345 plus 613, I get 945, 48, uh, 958. <laughs> it's probably always best to actually look at the numbers you have right, written down. So 958. All right, so let's take a gander at what happens when the number that we get when we add it up is actually greater than 10. Well, in this case, in the ones place, we have three plus nine. And if I start at nine and I go up three places, I get 12. 12, hmm, that number is definitely greater than 10 and it has two uh, digits. And so it has two different place values represented. Remember, we're in the Remember, we're in uh, the ones place, so we want to look at directly the ones because that tells us how many we should have in this new place value. We're not going to forget that 10 that's in there, though. So let's start off with the one. So 3 plus 9 will give us a 12. So we'd have a 2 from the ones, and an extra 10 will move up to the next place value. So a lot of times people would teach by putting it above um, our column. And that's, that's actually a really good idea. That way you still see that it's all placed together. Okay. So when we do that, we get 1 plus 6 plus 1. So if we start at the larger one, 6, and go up for each of the smaller ones. So 6, go at 1. That's 7, go at 1 more. And that's 8. So we get 8. Okay. And there was nothing else to move up. There was no other level to move up because 8 is definitely less than 10. And remember when we first looked at place values, as you go up, as you get a collection of 10, you move to the next level. Okay. So lastly, here we have seven plus six. Um, these numbers are actually fairly close together. So a lot of times what people do when things are close together to make addition quickly is they will double one of them. So the smaller one generally. Um, so in this case, if we double six, 
we get 12, and we're only one more away from that, so that's 13. And that's just a little trick to make it a little faster for you. If some of you just may know 7 plus 6 is 13 and be done with it. And so there. So 763 plus 619 is equal to 1,382. All right. Now, here's actually an interesting fact. When you add these numbers together and you get a new result, or whenever you see a number such as this, a lot of times we say 1382. Why? Because that's simpler for us to say. It's easier for the next person to understand as well. If we go 1382, that's still easy for people to understand. A lot of times it's harder for people to understand 1,382 than just saying 1382 or 1382. Um, now, you would have to be careful when doing so um, because depending on who you're speaking to, so say if I go to get a money order and I say I need a money order for 1382, they may think $13.82. Is that what you mean in this case? No, it's not. We mean 1,382. But if, if, I'm, um, if I'm gathering towels for flooring for a house and I say I need 13.82, that guy's, uh, the guy I'm buying tile from is gonna know that I mean 1,382 tiles because you wouldn't get parts of a towel. You would buy, always buy the whole towel and if you need to cut off pieces, you would cut them off yourself later. Um, so, and in, in, in that case, it depends on your context and what you're talking to, who you're talking to, and what you're doing is how you say these numbers. Now, as we move forward, especially when we get to decimals, it is oftentimes a lot easier, as I said, to just say what you see written. So, 1382, if you saw a decimal say that this was $13.82, and you saw, you said 13.82, that lets me automatically denote the difference between $13.82 and 1,382 because you're using a point, all right? So anyway, that was just a little side note. And let's just do one last problem here uh, to show that you have mastered this addition review. Okay, so our last number, well, we have four things adding here. Well, if we stick to what we just talked about. Everything is first of all lined up, starting from the ones place and move over to the left. You will see how our numbers stagger as you move down, that's okay. Sometimes it's easier for people in this instance to put zeros in front so that every column is filled all the way. Because remember, zero means that you have nothing there. And so therefore, it does not change our value by putting a zero there. Now, personally, I don't put, I don't add, I do not add zeros in front to help me see the columns. I already can see them just fine. But for a lot of people, that makes it a lot easier. Because when you add zero, it doesn't change anything. But visually, it still looks like the problems that we did before. All right, so let's add. So I have 9, 7, 5, and 6. So I'm going to add these together. Now, people come up with different techniques to add these numbers together. Um, they, they gather 5s and 10s together. Um, you can do whatever you wish. Um, I will speak out what I would normally do. Um, and I'll try, try to explain why I'm doing so in that case as well. Um, but honestly, the, the fastest way generally for people is just to go straight down. Uh, uh, so in this instance, let's, let's actually we'll do that. Uh, so this instance, I would just go straight down. So 9 plus 7 is going to be 16, plus 5 is going to be 21, plus 6 is going to be 27. 27, so that means that 7 goes down here, and the 2 would level up and go to the next place value. Okay, all right, and so now I'm going to add down again. And so I have here 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 2 is going to be 11. 11 plus 2 is going to be 13. And 13 plus 9 is going to be 22. And again, we move up to the next level with the 2, the second 2. All right. 2 plus 6 is going to be 8. 8 plus 2 is going to be 10. 10 plus 1 is going to be 11. Plus 0 is still going to be 11. So we add our 1 down here. And then another one goes to the next place value. Almost done. So 1 plus 3 is going to give us 4. 4 plus 0 is going to be 0. 0, oh, sorry, 4 plus, 4 plus 0 is going to be 4. 4 plus 8 is going to be 12. 12 plus 0 is going to be 12. And so we get our 2 here. And then we add a 1 to the next column. And lastly, we have 1 plus 6 is 7. 
plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is still going to be 7. So our final answer is 72,127. Now I mentioned that some people would like to gather 5s and 10s together. Um, in this case, if you do 9 plus 6, you would get 15. Plus 5 would be 20. Plus 7, 27. And so that does make it a little easier for, for some people. So if you choose to do that, that's fine. You can add any kind of way you want. Um, if we looked at this in expanded form and estimated, I'd probably say that this would be 6,400. I would say that this would be around 200. I would say that this would be around 8,000. And I would say that would be around 100. And so if I did that, I would get 72,300. And I know that it would have to be a little less than that um, because of how much more I rounded up here than I did in the other places. So if I did that, Notice that my answer is less than that. Um, you also, one last thing, I added a comma here. Is the comma necessary? No. It just helps people identify what class system they're in. So we know that now we're in the thousands because they see one comma. It is completely unnecessary to write, though, um, unless your boss tells you to. Um, and currently in this class, I would be your boss, and I say that it's fine not to have it. So that is addition. Um, next, we will be looking at negative addition which is known as subtraction. See you soon.